Peugeot's RCZ is the French car maker's popular sport coupe. Six years ago at the International Motor Show in Frankfurt, the concept car wowed visitors with its extravagant design. Now, 50,000 units later, the sports car has had a facelift. At just under 4 meters 30 in length, the new version of the RCZ is around 10 centimeters longer than its most serious competitor, the Audi TT. The shape of the glass roof is a real eye-catcher. But we want to get past the looks and see how the diesel model of the coupe really handles. Our test driver, Sasha Knopp, says he's using the 120 kilowatt version, one of three optional motors. But a lot of people are really looking forward to the new 260 horsepower motor, 191 kilowatts of power. It should really pack a punch, he says. The two liter diesel engine in our test car is no weakling. Its potential torque maxes out at 340 newton meters. And the car's other parameters are also nothing to sneeze at. The RCZ can hit 100 kilometers an hour in 8.7 seconds and has a top speed of 225 kilometers an hour. Peugeot says it burns 5.3 liters of fuel per 100 clicks on the road. The dash is well planned, with tachometer and speedometer given pride of place. It's a sports car after all. The steering wheel sits very well in the hand with a comfortable thumb rest, a nice detail. Our stick shift car has six gears. An automatic transmission can only be ordered for the smaller of the two gasoline driven motors. At need, the navigation system emerges from the dashboard into a position well in the driver's field of view. Another button deploys the spoiler in back. Sasha says the car is just 1.36 meters tall, but still offers plenty of headroom. The leather seats, unfortunately an extra, are a good investment. They feel luxurious and comfortable, with good lateral support. But Peugeot could have skipped the back seats, he says. Nobody would want to sit back there. The trunk has no hidden corners but it's far from spacious, and you have to heave things up pretty high to get them in. Total volume in the boot, 321 liters. Double that if you drop the rear seats. The RCZ isn't generous with space in either the back passenger seats or trunk, but it isn't supposed to be a station wagon, now is it? It looks great and drives well, but there are a few rough edges. The suspension is so stiff that bumps in the road are transferred straight to the driver and passengers. And the gears lie a little too far away from one another on the shifter. But handling is dynamic, and the car's low center of gravity and precise power steering get the job done. Sasha says the RCZ's 120 kilowatt diesel motor really steps up to the plate and that the turbocharger provides plenty of power to the axles. He thinks if the convertible version of the vehicle, which has a 260 horsepower, 191 kilowatt gasoline motor that Peugeot revealed as a concept car at the Geneva Motor Show earlier this year, actually makes it into production, it could be a really beautiful car. But this version is no slouch either, and it's significantly cheaper than the Audi TT competitor. In Germany, the RCZ can be had for under 30,000 euros.